All right, in this step we're going to put together the rail assemblies. Um, so the parts you'll need are the rail frames, which are these two parts, pretty distinct. Um, they're identical. And then we'll need these two uh, parts. These, these here we call the rail frames. These are the rail lowers, which form the lower lip of the rail. And these uh, similar but not identical parts um, with the tabs uh, instead of bolt holes. These are the rail uppers. So we'll keep these above the rail frames for right now. We'll keep these below just so we can keep track of them. Um, now, although these um, rail frames are, the, are identical parts, they're actually a matched pair, so it matters which one's on the left and right. It doesn't matter right now as I hold them in my hand, but it does matter how we assemble them. So the trick that I like to use is to um, just put them together like this, fold them outward, put them on my bench. So now I know which one's the left side and the right side. And what we're going to do is peel only one side of these. So I'm not going to peel this side right now. I'm not going to peel this side right now. Um, that way, uh, since our plastic cement has to be applied um, between two pieces of naked plastic, if we leave paper on one side, we'll always know which rail is left and right if we were to drop them or just shuffle them on a bench or what have you. So uh, before we do anything else, let's peel only the top of each of these. All right, so now that we've peeled, um, peeled these in a special way so that we can keep track of our matched pair, um, we want to peel both sides of the rail uppers and the rail lowers. So get to peeling. All right, everything's peeled. Um, the other things we'll need for this step are our cement. We'll need our uh, driver and we will need eight um, machine screws and eight uh, nuts to hold them down. So I like to work one rail at a time, so I'll just put one aside. Uh, I'll take one lower and one upper for me and put those aside too. Put, well, put the ones I'm not using aside. Uh, so what we want to do is push some screws through from the back, little bolts of your uh, rail frame and do it from do it so that the head of the of the nut or the bolt rather ends up on the paper side like this and sticking up out of the plastic side. Um, there's no need to apply any cement yet. We're actually going to use a trick that an arguably clever trick uh, to get these cemented into place. Um, but the first trick is to get them worked down the um, the bolt shaft. So if you have problems with this, you can actually probably pull it into place with your driver like I'm doing. Uh, and ideally you wouldn't be using um, bolts as long as the ones that I'm using here. I just didn't have anything else on my bench that I could that I was willing to get dirty. So if you have to drive these through, go ahead and just drive them until the heads are flush. Just like that. Put a nut onto each of them. And drive those into place. Now the idea here is um, we're using these bolts to hold things in alignment as just as much as we're using them to hold things securely. It's not necessary that this be really tight, um, only uh, tight enough that um, the uh, parts are touching firmly. You wouldn't want to crank these too hard. You, know, you could risk distorting things a little bit because we are working with a flexible material. So, you know, just about like that. Finger tight, finger tip tight on the tool. Maybe is a good way to describe that. This one here, same thing, put a bolt through each hole from the paper side so that the head ends up on the paper side. If it gets stuck for a minute, just spin it with your driver. Um, now this part here is kind of interesting. So this is a, what we call a rail upper. And uh, in this build, it's a different color. It's made in the light color of the... Um, two-tone color scheme while the rail frame and the rail lower are made in what we call the dark color of the color scheme. Um, but you may have cut all your parts out of the same plastic, your same color of plastic. So there's a couple of other tools that we can use to help identify this part and where it goes. Um, it's obviously going to hook onto these two bolts that we just placed, but if you notice right here we have a uh, 
corner that's sheared off at an angle, and over here we have a corner that's sharp as you, you expect a normal corner to be. Uh, you'll see those same two features, the corner that's sheared off here on the rail frame and the corner that's completely squared off on the rail frame. Um, and you just want to match those two features. So in this case I have to turn my rail upper around so that I have the sheared off corner of the rail upper aligned with the sheared off corner of the rail frame and the squared off corner of the rail upper aligned with the squared off corner of the rail frame. Put that guy into place just like that and down. Thread on a couple of uh, nuts. get these uh, most of the way tight and then we're going to want to do a little bit of adjustment and then we'll get them the rest of the way tight. So far I'm going to pull up short of actually clamping, getting any clamping pressure on that rail upper for now. And do the same back here. I'm just going to pull up just short of actually making it tight in any way. Um, and then we'll just go one at a time making sure this rail is placed, pulled down and held firmly. You can use your finger to kind of counteract the turning of that uh, nut there just to get the tension good enough. That's like that. So there, we have a rail assembly um, and we need two of these so put that guy there and now we'll do the other for the other side. Um, everything's pretty straightforward now. You're an expert at this. Just remember sheared off corner, sheared off corner. And uh, We'll get through this one kind of fast since it's the same process as the first, just mirrored. There. So now you can see we have what will eventually be a matched pair of rails running through our machine, and this slot that we've created here, uh, or this pair of slots we've created here, will actually carry the sliding lid of the machine. So um, these are structural components for the inside of the box. They run uh, back to front in the box and provide a lot of strength and also give our sliding uh, lid a place to, to travel in. So there's one thing that we should note and that is that one of these um, will not have its upper, its rail upper cemented in place. Um, and that's so that we can leave the, the upper in place with bolts uh, which allows you to take the bolts off, take the upper off, and then remove the lid from your machine, which, you know, at times it'll need to be cleaned and, and serviced. So uh, we're going to cement one of these, but not the other. So I'll just pick one. No. We don't want any cement here, here, or here. But otherwise, we are going to now do something that I like to refer to as pocket gluing, and we're going to inject uh, cement into each one of these oval shaped holes and you don't have to fill them all the way up the idea is just to get the edges of the um, the edges of the bottom of the uh, cutouts these things uh, cemented to the actual rails themselves or the rail lowers and uppers so I'm just going to start dispensing cement into these so they get somewhat full but not they don't, like I said, don't need to be terribly full or completely full, awfully full, none of those. Just make sure you submerge. Put enough in that you can get a, a pool at the bottom of the cavity which touches all the sides of the cavity and you'll be in good stead. One thing to know when you come back to get these later this will have contracted a lot. The cement is going to contract a lot and it looks like uh, it may look like you haven't even done anything which uh, won't be true so don't fall for it. Um, just know that the cement is going to shrink a bunch. And this is my special rail where I'm not going to cement any of the um, of these three uh, cavities at the top of the assembly, top edge of the assembly. We're just going to go with these three at the bottom. I've squeezed my tube of cement too hard and now it's pressurized and Stuff's really flowing out. And that's that for the rail assembly. Just wrangle your uh, cement back into submission. And uh, these two parts are ready to set aside and uh, let the cement dry completely.